Oh boy. We got an episode. Griffith got caught after beating up the box of the princess, which is definitely not allowed. Now, I don't know if the lady was able to see that it was Griffith and she ratted on him or if she just said that the princess was in there with somebody. And so all those guards came and they just happened to see Griffith nearby. So they're like, hmm, funny finding you here. Let's haul him in and we'll hear his story. So I don't know how that's going to play out. I don't know if Casca is going to go try to get guts to help him. What's going to happen with the Band of the Hawks? Only one way to find out. Let's dive in. Sparks is really good. It's a good title name because... Shit's about to hit the fan, so let's find out. Is that a proper translation? So many plucky fellows have joined. <laughs> I don't know what that means. It's a big boy. Oh, Guts is still here. Or is this a different place? That makes sense. I don't know why I thought this was the same place, because that would be the king, I assume, or whoever's in power here, and that's definitely different than the guy where Griffith and the Band of the Hawks is. My man said, let's do this, nigga. Like... <laughs> Yeah, I'm never going to not say some shit when I hear them use a word that sounds very similar to that. I feel like I always have to go in on it. Guts is going to wash this fool, though. <laughs> that is his stance. That dude's got a weird stance. He's like holding his weapon way up above. <laughs> That shit was light work. At least he's a cool king, because there's going to be some people that are like, oh, you don't want to work for me? Men, seize him. Because right? they, they look at it like, if I can't use you on my side, I can't risk the fact that you might end up on the other side at some point, depending on what choices you make. So we're just going to take you out now, then. Oh, this is going to end up being the family that I saw in the first few episodes of the 2018 Berserk. This man's good at what he does. Okay, it's an interesting training. The fact that he gets lifted up with one hand is crazy. That's a monstrous sword. This shit taller than him. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy that this man could take out a hundred men, but he starts swinging at some log that's going back and forth on a branch, and he gets himself in some shit. I feel like the sword just keeps getting bigger. <laughs> I it's an interesting way to look at it. I really don't know where we go from here. So I assume he's getting ready to leave this place, but where does he go? Ah. When he says, after being sheltered for nearly a year, this is all you say. Are they implying that he was just at their location for a year? That Like a year has went by from when we saw him walk up to now when he's leaving? Or are they saying just overall, like he's been there in the past? I'm assuming they mean now. We just didn't see all that much. We saw him chop a couple logs up twice out of a waterfall and then once in the woods with her but i i guess that makes sense <laughs> so what's happening with griffith oh i wonder if the bandits are going to be the group that he was just with i already forget their name like the bandits of the hawk 
something like that. I know Hawk was in it. For some reason, I'm blanking right now. But I almost bet that this is what this is going to be. So he's been here for a year, and now he's hearing that they're hiding out over there because of everything that happened with Griffith. They've kind of decided to leave and, and kind of go into hiding and hope everything just kind of blows over. And this is going to reunite them. It's got to be it. The Band of the Hawks. That's what it was. They're led by Casca. So what happened to Griffith? This is definitely going to bring him to them. Because he's going to want to know what's going on. He's out here trying to better himself so he could end up being Griffith's equal. Only to find out that they're on the run now. And Griffith isn't even with them. Okay, so she's essentially the leader. I'm guessing that Griffith is in jail, maybe, for sleeping with the princess. And until he gets out, she's kind of taking the role. I hope that box was worth it. So I assume these people are about to roll up into their camp and try to kill them all. Guts is definitely going to show up and help them beat everybody, and then we'll see where we go from here. She's got nothing left. Both the people that she liked and cared about are gone. Negative Nancy. It's not looking good. You know what's crazy is I was going to say that Guts rolls in and saves everybody. But there's a chance that he doesn't. There's a chance that they lose this fight and Casca stays alive and he reconnects with Casca. Because when Zod said, when Griffith loses his ambition, that could have been the moment when he went and slept with the princess. Like his ambition, his, his smart thinking, his, his, the process in which he went about things completely went out the window right there because he lost that fight with Guts. And that could be the end of the Band of the Hawks. All right, let's find out. I'm, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just, there's so many things going through my head. I don't think we'll know at the end of this episode because it doesn't look like there's very long left. It's not looking good. <laughs> Yo, listen, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is where the sound effects come in. <laughs> Yo, listen, Gus coming at the perfect timing. All right, well, now that he's showed up and the fight is kind of just beginning, there is a chance that they end up still winning this because he's going to wash everybody. Let's just be honest. This man is going to literally wash everybody. There is still the possibility that a lot of the Band of the Hawks die, and it seems like some of them already abandoned when Griffith got locked up. So we'll see where we go from here. I'm, 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 I'm curious if they actually get Griffith out. For some reason, I don't think so. If I had to make a prediction, if I had to make a prediction, I've been wrong by quite a bit on a lot of the predictions I've made in this show, but some of them I've been decently on. So um, I'm thinking a lot of the Band of the Hawks ends up dying right here. Casca obviously survives. Guts survives. And they just don't have enough men to make a push to try to get Griffith out, so they don't. But... No, no, wait, hold up. What do I think? Maybe like everybody here dies, but Casca in guts. And this might be the moment where somehow some evil comes into play and they end up with the marks on their neck and she loses her shit. I've already predicted this like once or twice before was completely wrong, but I think this might be the moment. This might be the moment. And it would make sense because it's like Griffith has lost his ambition. He did what he did, got put into that dungeon or whatever the hell they put him in. And that's going to lead to things just going the way that they're going. And he's only so far from that house that he was just at with that guy and his daughter. And so it kind of makes sense, right? Because that's where he leaves Casca at the start of the 2018 berserk. And then he goes back to pick her up. And it's like so many years, like a couple years later. So there's a chance that that's what this is going to lead us to. I mean, I think it, inevitably we're going to get there in these last few episodes, but I feel like this battle might be the, the start. This might be the starting point for that happening. 
So only one way to find out. I appreciate you guys. Shout out to my patrons. Shout out to everybody on YouTube. I appreciate you guys. I will catch you in the next episode, homies.